Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel presents... Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode are, of 13 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel with me, your host Max. On this episode, uh, something is kind of super messed up with my mouse, so give me a second. Okay, maybe this will be a bit better. Anyhow, on the previous two episodes, we were able to escape both the prison and the asylum. Unfortunately, as we hijacked the ambulance, the lady driver has decided to crash, and now it will be our objective to escape hey, through the canyon. Good luck. She's apparently deciding to stay back. So I'm not gonna take her along, but this is one tricky, tricky segment. There will be a lot of jumping around and trying to escape. Who was that? Stop playing around, will you? Mongoose and his men are coming down hard. I stashed the taxi at the bottom of the canyon. Get here fast. The meter's running. You feel me? And, uh, sure, she is waiting to extract us, but one thing which I need to keep in mind is that the enemy guys will have lots of firepower. And I am kind of completely out of ammo here for my sniper rifle. And also, I'm trying to shoot a non-reloaded revolver. And hopefully, we're gonna be able to utilize the assault rifle to its somewhat potential. I know that I should not be like running super fast because. Some of the enemies might have even stuff like RPGs. Okay, so I used the right mouse in order to switch the firing mode. That's super convenient. But do we have the sniper rifle? I think this guy did have it. Come on, pop up long enough so I can pop you long enough. Okay, we're gonna switch. I'm gonna actually use a med kit because I'm kind of sure that if I try to pull myself out, what will happen here is he will be shooting at me. And I'm just gonna fall back. Okay, let's try to pretend like that did not happen. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, the guy has a freaking RPG. Can I throw the grenades? Up here and kill him theoretically. Try one more. Cook it, let it fall over here. Hopefully that has killed him. This is a lovely stash of armor. And you have shot your rocket way too quickly. Luckily he has completely missed the shot. Which is probably the only reason why I'm still standing somewhere around these parts. Okay, hold on, hold on. I know, I know. This is all fun and games when they are missing, but if they're gonna aim the rocket nice and proper, I'm gonna have some serious, crispy, well done issues on my ass. Okay, okay, so there are some graveyards here. I'm not really sure if we can read the names. This is some hills have eyes type of situation. 
let's try to keep on moving. And keep on moving. We're gonna be actually using these ropes in order to move. Through this part of the mission. I should have just gone with the sniper rifle, but I'm really enjoying the fact that I have the assault rifle. And here is where some of the tricky parts will be. Because sometimes if you try to like fall on top of these rocks, which lead you to the next session or next part of the map, it, it might like block you from the side, so you have to careful if you will be playing this on your own. We have reached our checkpoint. That's a headshot. There is some armor. It's another headshot. There was one more dude. Correctly, there might be like some ruins or some ancient city even built into the rocks here. That I haven't played this game for like 10 years, so I'm really going and thinking about all the things which you might experience as you play this. This is definitely one of those titles which I would highly recommend. I'm not sure if we can both crawl through down here. But we're gonna still have to take the zip line over there. There's an enemy chopper on its way. And we are still kind of out of the uh, RPG ammo, so I might try to use the zip line to get over that side or over to that side of the canyon so that we can resupply so let's see if we will be able to pick up that rpg or some ammo or some supplies for the run Just looks like there is some cat bar and some additional ammo. So in this next session or next segment of the map, more guys with RPGs. Beautiful. Uh, and uh, I'm not even really sure if the chopper has just dropped all these guys. Okay, thankfully the RPG has quite the long reload time. But is someone shooting at me? Of course. Okay, let's take a cover here so that we are not completely exposed. I don't know why you were pulling out the map kit when I have 82 points of health. Okay, now it's just a question of if I recall which zip line to take and which one will just take me on like some pleasant tourist type of situation. Come on, buddy. We're trying to escape a prison. Okay, so there are actually RPG rockets here, but no RPG. So maybe a bit further down. And we actually need to use these zip ties because these parts would prevent you from getting from point A to point B over there, so... That's that. Now the question is, if I recall, what else is waiting for us? We're 
gonna have to change the zip line. Okay. How the heck do I get to that zip line? That's the question. Okay, come on, walk up this ledge. There's something in the cart. No? Let's try one more time, maybe I might have missed something. I highly doubt it, I think we were here before. Maybe I just need to like drop in here. No, 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 okay, so we were definitely yeah, that's like the start of the entire mission. Somewhere down there is where the uh, ambulance is with that lady. Okay, okay, okay. It's been a while. Give, give me a second, okay? We need to... Go down over here. 57 points of health. Change that. We're definitely in the right section. Just might not be the zip ties that I might have to take or zip lines. I actually have to take this thing. I cannot jump over this. How the heck do I get... Hmm... Okay, I have found out what I'm doing wrong, so I need to take this route. I have been looking the other way this entire time. My bad. I think I saw... Someone? Was it the shovel? Nah. Okay. More RPG rockets. I'm quite sure we have to take this zip line. But we can get to the other port. It's another checkpoint. Another dude with an RPG. That was way too close even for my comfort. But he has finally dropped the weapon. So that makes me think that there might be a helicopter or a chopper waiting for- oh, Whoa! Okay, let's try to... and few more of these puppies. Okay. Grenades seem to have done the work. They, have, they might have planned on like making me use the RPG. Which I don't mind showcasing for the purposes of the video after all. This will end up on the channel for my... or for your entertainment. I just have to be careful as to how I aim this stuff. Because if I shoot the rocket too close to me... Well, if you ever played Fallout and you have tried to throw a frag mine really close to yourself, you know what I'm talking about, but I should stop using the RPG ammo here. How are you not aware that there is like a valley of the death over here? We were just chilling there by that crate. Awareness zero. Perception not existent. Let's grab the Kevlar. Try to retreat a little bit. We're gonna fire one rocket over there. Let's reload. I 
think the rocket might have done it. At least for him. For the other guy, not so much. We'll just keep on pressing forward. There's something we can get here. No. Okay, so another zip line. Are these the runes I recall? Okay, you can either shoot these planks, I think, or punch them. I'm gonna punch them. I'm gonna preserve the ammo. And... Now I'm gonna totally forget what the heck am I supposed to do in here. This way. Climbing of shotgun ammo. Okay. So we successfully cleared out the first part, but we need to find our ride out of here. This episode might be a bit longer, but it's still the basically part of the canyon so I would hate to cut it off right here I think we can squeeze out a bit more out of the episode hopefully my laptop will manage to render this in less than a month there's lots of RPG ammo guys are down there one has RPG so we're gonna get rid of him because that was way too close almost killed us okay so the sniper rifle has done its job now we can resupply I really don't think that using the RPG from that angle is the most efficient use of it. All things considered, if you don't aim it correctly and if you're shooting off the edge here and if the rocket hits its collision due to the pixelation of the uh, missile, it might actually explode upon just being too close to the edge. So you might kill yourself that way, which is why I went with the sniper rifle. Let's grab all the ammo here, which we can and should. Let's see if we can make our way to Jones. We are trying to sneak off on... Is there one more guy? Because we got that orange bubble there signaling us something. Okay, we're gonna switch to shotgun because these nooks and crannies are perfect places for ambushes. I don't know if he has a sniper rifle or a rocket launcher. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad I got the hell out of there, because he would have killed me probably with a single shot. Okay, more guys with rockets. Let's go all tactical. Whoa, okay, he definitely fired. Yeah. Yeah. The RPGs, they don't screw around. Let's see if we can fix what I messed up. Okay, apparently I was looking too low. Thankfully he did not fire. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, I'm left with 3 HP, are you kidding? But I'm completely out of any armor. Just 
not the most optimal thing for us since there are so many guys who are not enjoying the beauty of this canyon and instead are choosing to keep shooting at us. Which is really rude and disrespectful to this place. Okay, let's pull our fat ass up this ledge here. Just make sure that I will actually land over here and not die falling. That would suck. I'm gonna grab the med kit because if they are shooting rockets at us, I'm gonna need all the health I can get. Okay, he's gonna actually jump. You know what, I'm, I'm kind of uh, not in the mood, so... There. Beautiful aim. Really nice, really nice. I'm still actually surprised that I managed to throw that grenade so efficiently. Okay, uh, here I need to be careful, because if I jump and don't land correctly... Yeah, I know you have a beautiful singing voice, but you are also standing next to a bunch of weapons. Wish me luck. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Look, if I get shot by an RPG, I accept this, but if I die on a stupid jump, I'm gonna be kind of angry at myself. It's another one down. Now how the hell am I supposed to... Yeah, that was unfortunate. It's the right way down, it's just a way to express. For my taste. Who are you shooting at? What's your problem? I know I could have thrown a grenade, but he had plenty of room to run away from the uh, explosion radius, so rocket seemed like a more fun option, because I'm sitting on way too much ammo for it anyhow. And this is where we need to somehow okay? get... There's a way out behind the room. The plane's close by. Right? Yeah, we need to go through these rooms. And I haven't played this game for nine years and I still recall tiny parts of the missions. One guy down, but I'm quite sure uh, we just caught like a whole bus of tourists. We're going to be messing around. here I think they will like pop out of these windows and stuff once I like try to climb the freaking ladder I'm not that eager to try and scale this place yeah. it's one guy down and that's a freaking rocket which almost killed me and now I see from where he's shooting at me. Seriously, man, I had to use up two medkits. That is way too much. The music has changed, which means the enemy must be somewhere around here. There are more supplies in here, so I want to grab the map kit, especially since they are using RPGs. 
I almost died like twice here. Oh, whoa! Okay, so the shotgun is definitely better at the close range. Even if the shells tend to spread a bit. Still gonna... Kind of mess his day up. He's hoping we're gonna be able to keep the assault rifle ammo. Oh, will you go and... Probably destroying some historical landmark here by shooting RPGs inside. I mean, look at all this stuff. There's ta tapestry. There's a mask. This was someone's living room, I'm guessing. I hope it wasn't someone's toilet, because it's in such a secluded place. But anyhow, let's get the heck out of here. Oh my god, we're still not done. Haha! <laughs> There's the plane which we will be taking with Jones. So, if you did enjoy the episode, consider giving it a like. This way, more people will be able to come across my content. I publish content on a weekly base for all sorts of things, for, from playthroughs to tips and tricks to discussions to early in game reviews. So, check out the channel, link will be in the description. I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully, I will see you either in the comments or at the next one. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.